Hi everyone! For today's video, I'm counting down the top 15 best ski resorts in Canada. From the Rocky Mountains to the East Coast, Canada has some of the best skiing in the world, and these are the best of the best. So if you're looking for a great place to hit the slopes, be sure to check out this video. But first, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and remember to click the bell button to receive new video updates. There's no better way to get your winter fix than by hitting the slopes. While many Canadians are content to head south for their annual dose of snow sports, those who prefer to stay local have some excellent options right here at home. From boutique ski resorts with a small town vibe to large luxury properties with world class amenities, there is a perfect spot for every kind of skier and snowboarder up north. Whether you prefer wide open groomers, tree lined terrain parks, challenging steeps, or perfectly pitched beginner runs, there's an ideal spot for you in Canada. So get ready to hit the slopes and check out these 15 exceptional ski resorts in Canada that you need to visit. First in the list, Whistler Blackcomb. Whistler Blackcomb is the largest ski resort in North America, and it's the best in Canada. With over 100 marked trails for skiers and snowboarders, the resort has something for everyone. It's also home to the annual Crankworks World Tour, which is a mountain bike competition held every August that draws some of the world's best riders. The vertical drop at Whistler Blackcomb is 3,809 meters, or 12,450 feet, which is the highest in Canada. The longest run at Whistler Blackcomb is also the longest in Canada, the 5.6 kilometer or 3.5 miles north face. Whistler Blackcomb is a one of a kind experience that has something for everyone. There is no other ski resort in Canada that compares to Whistler Blackcomb. Number 2 Big White Big White is the closest ski resort to Vancouver, located just 2.5 hours away. It's a small, family-owned operation that has a strong focus on providing a great experience for beginner and intermediate skiers. Big White is also one of the few places in Canada that offers night skiing. The vertical drop at Big White is 1,018 meters or 3,336 feet, which is fairly modest, but it has 20 trails and a wide variety of terrains. There are 33 kilometers or 20 miles of marked cross-country skiing trails and the resort also hosts snowshoeing and tubing. Big White is a great choice for those wanting a laid-back, no-frills experience. It's not a destination for world-class skiing, but it's a great place to go for some low-key fun with family and friends. 3. Sunshine Village Sunshine Village is another old-school ski area that has been open since 1965. It's located just outside Banff, which makes it a great choice for people who want to ski or snowboard and visit Banff National Park. Sunshine is a member of the Great Canadian Snow Towns Association, which means that it has been recognized as a top Canadian ski town. Sunshine Village has 32 runs and 3 terrain parks. The longest run is 2 kilometers or 1.2 miles. Sunshine Village is a great option for families or groups of friends who want to ski or snowboard but don't want to stay in Banff. It's also an excellent place to learn to ski or snowboard because it's not as busy as some of the larger resorts. 4. Lake Lewis Ski Resort Lake Lewis has been a popular resort since the early 1960s. Located in Banff National Park, Lake Lewis has a reputation for being one of the world's most scenic ski destinations. The main lift is the Great Wall, which is the longest single-stage chairlift in the world. The resort is also home to the Lake Lewis Ski School, which is one of the most famous in the country. The school hosts the annual Canadian Ski Instructor Society Convention. Lake Lewis has 15 runs and one terrain park. The vertical drop is 575 meters or 1,886 feet, with the longest run at 1.6 kilometers or 1 mile. It is best for those who primarily want to ski. It doesn't have a lot of snowboarding terrain. Lake Lewis is a great place for skiers of all abilities. It has wide open, low crowd runs. Number 5 would be Revelstoke. Revelstoke, formerly a sanctuary for the wealthy and well-to-do, has undergone a remarkable transition into one of Canada's top ski resorts. When Revelstoke just had one ski lift, visitors would heli-ski from the top of the mountain, wandering their way back down. The mountain's various topography is now easily accessible, due to a new summit chairlift and a high-speed gondola, among other things. Revelstoke, British Columbia has earned a reputation for harsh terrain and possesses the most vertical drop in all of Canada. At 5,620 feet, much of Revelstoke is off-piste, remaining true to its roots while being a mountain for everybody to enjoy. This enables some of the most diverse powder skiing in the country, while simultaneously carrying on Revelstoke's heli-skiing legacy. 6. Mont Tremblant 
out of the spotlight, the ski resort can often feel like a well-kept secret as you meet with locals and a few foreign visitors. The resort is around 90 minutes from Montreal and has over 750 acres of different terrain. With four mountains and a lift capacity of 27,230 boarders and skiers per hour, the lift stands rarely long. Mont Tremblant features approximately 100 named runs, which are divided into beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels. The season lasts five months on average, with incredible snowmaking assisting in maintaining good snow quality when spring arrives. At the bottom of the slopes, you'll discover a full-service ski resort that's ideal for families. Take advantage of the variety of lessons available in Mont Tremblant, like kids' activities. Number 7. Sun Peaks one of the smaller resorts in this list remains a favorite among novice and intermediate skiers. The forgiving wide open bowls and powdered terrain give the ideal chance for skiers and snowboarders to abandon the corduroy and venture off-piste. Skiers may select between three mountain faces, each offering something different, beneath the imposing presence of Todd Mountain. Sun Peaks has a homey vibe since it is a small resort. The ski resort features a friendly local community and a variety of activities. Take a shuttle to see the Kamloops Blazers play in the Canadian Hockey League, or go on a ski adventure. 8. Blue Mountain Ski Resort Has transcended its modest mountain ambience owing to its lovely European-style community. Start and finish your day in the delightful town that will quickly make you forget you're not in Switzerland. Blue Mountain is both romantic and family-friendly, thanks to its high-end stores, wonderful pubs and restaurants, as well as a diverse selection of accommodations. The mound may not reach enormous heights, but its width along the Niagara Escarpment gives for breathtaking scenery. Ninth in the list, Marmot Basin. Because to its high elevation on the Continental Divide, Marmot Basin has a snowshore reputation. In fact, Marmot has the greatest snow base height of all the major resorts, at nearly 5,500 feet above the sea level. This guarantees that the mound has excellent ski coverage even during the off-season. The resort boasts 86 routes, and with Marmot's quick lift service, exploring the whole ski area becomes easy. The mountain's recent growth has resulted in more groomed trails for intermediate and beginner skiers. However, if you're confident, you can explore some of Canada's greatest tree skiing. Number 10. Silver Star It has a rich mining history that can be seen throughout its attractive resort community. The streets are dotted with brightly colored buildings that have envy access to the hills. Because of the village's location in the center of the mountain, few mountains provide the degree of ski-in, ski-out chances. The resort is well known for its family-friendly activities, and the fun doesn't end with a run. Silver Star offers approximately 65 miles of skiing trails, as well as snowshoeing, tubing, and fat riding. With over 25 night skiing routes, it's easy to understand why this resort should be at the top of your list. 11. Fernie the most bowls of any Canadian resort and one of the highest average snowfalls make Fernie a powder lover's paradise. The mound offers a longer than usual ski season thanks to its 37 feet of snowfall on average per year. Fernie is an ideal location for powder skiing and boarding because of its renowned snowfalls and temperatures that are just below freezing. The ski resort has five huge alpine bowls and 142 marked lines, so there are always fresh sensations to be had in the mound. The trails are evenly divided between greens, blues, and black diamonds, with Fernie having a 30-40-30 split, which means there are enough of runs for all ability levels, offering good opportunity to grow over your ski vacation. Fernie's famous ski village is only 10 minutes from the slopes and was named the trendiest place in the world by Rolling Stone magazine. Number 12. Kicking Horse Mountain Three hours outside Calgary and over the border in British Columbia is a refuge for experienced skiers. Almost half of the routes here are black diamonds, including one with the fifth largest vertical drop of any resort in North America. Since kicking horse is north facing, the light champagne powder lasts. Expert skiers and snowboarders will enjoy descending over 4,000 feet of vertical, not to mention the numerous hike to ski runs that will take you away from the crowds and into new territory. Enjoy an exciting steep run next to the stunning rock formations of the resort. There are a total of 128 named runs and five lifts at kicking horse. 13. Mont Santan, a tiny resort located in the Laurentian Mountains about an hour's drive from Quebec City. Skiing in Montreal may quickly become all about Mont Tremblant, but you can get away from that while still enjoying fantastic skiing. Mont Santan, which spans 2,145 acres, has 70 routes, over half of which are suitable for beginners. One such route begins at the resort's top and travels 3 kilometers down the valley. 
The numerous green and blue runs will swiftly prepare you for more, with thrilling mogul and tree skiing awaiting you. Mont saint includes around 20 night skiing routes, resulting in some of the greatest night skiing vertical in the country. 14. The fiercely independent Red Mountain, which is located away from British Columbia's big resorts, makes it the best option for skiers looking for empty routes and a lot of snow days. The hills, which are just 4 miles from the closest international airport, yet only 15 from the US border, require some forward preparation. Red Mountain consistently thrills skiers and snowboarders with its average snowfall of 25 feet. The snowfall tends to fall in huge chunks, covering the advanced and expert slopes in knee-deep champagne powder. Red Mountain boasts one of the finest skiers per acre ratios in Canada, spread across two mountains and over 4,000 acres, in addition to 110 runs, 50% advanced or above, and six lifts. Check out Red Shutter Cabins if you're seeking for a spot to stay at Red Mountain. Last but not least, try something new and have an unexpected experience at Le Massif de Charlevoix. The ski lodge of this Quebec resort is located in the top, from where the bunny and green line start. This is a dream come true for skiers who want to get up and ski before boarding the lift. While the summit of the mountain has easy access beginning runs, only 15% of the mountain is suitable for beginners. As you descend towards the valley, the Black Diamond takes over, earning the Massif de Charlevoix a stellar reputation among advanced skiers. As you descend, you'll be greeted by breathtaking views of a valley that contains the glistening St. Lawrence River. If you wish to get off the slopes, you may snowshoe to Lilo Coudre along the often frozen body of water. Nothing beats the rush of skiing or snowboarding down a snow mountain. People of various ages can participate in these sports. Canada is a winter sports enthusiast's dream. You will have a great time no matter where you choose to spend your snowboarding or skiing holiday in Canada. Any snow-covered mountain provides for a stunning background, but these Canadian ski resorts are truly breathtaking. If the beautiful snow wasn't enough to visit Canada for a ski vacation, the superb amenities are. Most resorts are purpose-built, thus accommodations are of high quality with many having ski in, ski out. The majority of villages are completely pedestrianized, and there is a wide variety of restaurants to suit all tastes and budgets. So what are you holding out for? Check out one of these incredible ski resorts in Canada right now. Finally, I'd like to ask you all to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more travel destination videos like this. I'll see you in my next video.